Hello everyone. This is Namrata Kalsandawa. Today I am going to explain you a computer graphics lab program that is Swift program. The question goes like this: Keep a lines using Cohen Sutherland algorithm. So here we are going to remove the extra line which is according to the Cohen Sutherland algorithm. So let's start begin with the program. Uh, first we need to initialize our header file. Then we have defined here the outcode uh, outcode which is of type int then comes here we are going to initialize our window boundary and viewport boundary so here um, the window boundary which is having a x min equal to 50 and y min equal to 50 then we have kept x max equal to 100 and y max equal to 100 so this is a window boundary no uh, now we will set the viewport boundary that is x v min equal to 200 and y v min equal to 200. Then we have a x v max equal to 300 and y v max equal to 300. So which is a viewport coordinate. Then we have then we have set the boundary of the uh, in, uh, boundary of the line. Uh, here right is equal to 8 and left equal to 2 and top equal to 4 and bottom equal to 1. So here we are going to add the boundaries of the uh, which is the polygon. Boundary of the polygon. Then we are going to then we will see the main function. In a main function, we are going to accept a two parameter that is ARGC and ARGV. ARGC which count the argument and ARGV which is type of vector. Then we, we are going to initialize the uh, in, uh, initialize the GLUT using the two parameter that is ARGC and ARGV. Then we are going to use the display mode which is GLUT single and uh, we are going to use the color code that is because it is a 2D program. Then we are going to set the size window that is 500 into 500. Then here next we are going to position the window of 0 and 0. Next we are going to create the window which is the name called Cohen Sutherland line clipping. Then we are calling the display function. So let's move to the next uh, display function. The, uh, after display function, we are going to call the my init function. Then we are going to loop that one. The, uh, let's see the display function here. So what our display function says. So display function is going to give a parameter that is uh, Endpoint of the x0, y0, and x1, y1. So, which is of type double. So, x0 we have set to 60, y0 we have set to 20, x1 we have set to 80, and y1 we have set to 120. So, x0, y0, which is the endpoint of one line, and x1, y1 is uh, endpoint of next line. So, uh, next we have a GL clear. We are going to clear the buffer using the color buffer. Then we have set the color which is of type RGB. So we are going to give a R as a, a high intensity. So, so this will give a red color. 100. Zero zero. So th this will give a red color. Then we are going to call, we are going to begin the line. So we have called a GL line. Here we are used two lines that is first one using the endpoint. Starting point x0 and endpoint y0. Then next line x1 and y1. Then here we are going to end the line. Next we have next we have set the color which is a 0, 0, 1 which give a blue color because RGB B is a, a high intensity. B is having a high intensity. Then we are going to call GL begin which is of type line loop. So we have a four lines here, which is a 
looping. So here in the first line we are going to set x min and y min. Then next line we are going to set x max and y min. Then we are going to join x max and y max. Then we are going to join x min and y y max. So this is of the line will be in a loop. Then we are going to call the edge here then. Then after this one uh, we have drawn the line here. Then after that we are going to call the Cohen Sudar line clip and draw algorithm uh, function. So here x0 and x1 is a end point. y0 and y1 is the next end point. Then we are going to call the GL plus to show the to display the function. Then we will see the I need initialization uh, function. Here we are going to call GL clear colors. Here we have set 1, 1, 1, 1. So it will be a, uh, the background will be a, co a white color. Then we are going to set the color 1, 0, 0, which is of red type. Then we have set the point at 1.0. Then we call the uh, matrix mode, which is of type projection. So projection we have called. Then we call the load identity. So load identity which convert the matrix into identity matrix. Then we are going to call the orthogonal 2D projection uh, projection type here using the glue ortho 2D. So we have set the parameter of orthogonal. Then we will see the cohen sutherland uh, function. So here uh, in a Cohen Sutherland function, it is going to accept the four parameter of double x0, y0, x1, y1. So this is these are the endpoints of two lines. Then here we have used the outcode for uh, uh, we have set the outcode point that is outcode zero, outcode one, and outcode out. Then we are we have the boolean data type here. Except we are go going to give a false and then equal to false then we have compute the output output 0 equal to compute compute output x and 0 so this is the first line we are going to compute the code so we'll see the comp uh, compute output program uh, function what it does then we'll come to the sutherland function so in our code Compute out code, we are going to accept two parameter that is the double x and double y. So x and y point. Here out code code equal to zero. So we have assigned the code equal to zero. So we are using we have used the if else condition here. If y is greater than y max, then we are going to allocate code equal to top when y is greater than y max the code the line will be top so above line is clipped where uh, otherwise uh, when y is less than y mean the below line is clipped otherwise when x is greater than x max then the right line will be clipped. Otherwise, x is, when x is smaller than x mean, x mean then the la line will be left. The left line will be a clip. Then we'll see. Uh, then we'll come to the Cohen Sutherland algorithm. So according to compute out code, it is going to compute the code. So here x0, y0, it will take the values from compute out code and x1, y1, it is going to uh, co compute according to the compute out code. So whatever the right, top, side and bottom line, bottom line is to clip, it is going to clip. Then we are going to uh, give a condition. 
if if it is not output zero and not uh, if it is not output zero and output one then we are going to x then we are going to accept the line and done equal to true we are, we are going to accept the line when the next condition otherwise uh, we are uh, when it is not the output zero and output one we are going to accept that line. otherwise we are going to reject the line then if you reject the line we have to compute the output that is if it is output then uh, this condition is going to accept when it is when this here when one uh, one endpoint is outside the clip when one uh, when one point is outside the rectangle then keep the keep that point then here the next we are going to check the condition for the top when the one 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 line is outside the cone that is the top then consider this algorithm uh, this formula so compute this formula x equal to this formula and y equal to this y max otherwise for the bottom we are going to consider x equal to this formula and y equal to y min otherwise for the right we are going to consider y equal to this formula and x equal to x otherwise y equal to that is the left line y equal to this formula and x equal to x min so according to the condition of the code we are going to calculate x and y after calculating calculating x and y we have to uh, clip the outside uh, line so here we are going to check the condition if output out if output out equal to equal to output 0 then assign x0 equal to x and y0 equal to y then compute x0 and y0 else assign x1 equal to x y1 equal to y and compute output 1 equal to compute output x1 y1 then after computing we have to uh, uh, map the win window uh, window port into a view port window view into view port so here we are going to use the uh, formulas for the for to convert from window to view port mapping so after this one we are going to give a color whatever the clipped color clipped line is there we are going to give the color that is red 100 that is we are going to give the color then we are going to give a line we are going to draw a line for the clipped line so we are using the line loop so here in the first vertex we are going to use the x v mean and y v mean then x v max y y v mean x v max y v max and x v mean and y v max so it is the clip line so for the clip line we are going to use the uh, lines uh, we are going to allocate the blue color here so here v x 0 v y 0 and v x 1 v y 1 so these are the end points of the line we are going to uh, which are the clip lines so this is the third uh, this is the fifth program in a cg so we let's see the output how it is going to come So this is this is the unclipped window. 
rectangle this is the clipped window so here extra extra lines are clipped and uh, here also extra lines are clipped so here see the extra lines are clipped this is the clipped rectangle this is the unclipped rectangle so here just check we are going to identify the line with the red color and the boundary with the blue color here a uh, boundary with the blue uh, red color and line with the blue color so this one we have set for the color so this is the cohen sutherland clipping algorithm hope you understand this program thank you for watching